Hi everyone, today we'll be taking a look at on how to extract the NordVPN WireGuard protocol and export it as a configuration file for use in the WireGuard app itself. The NordLynx protocol from NordVPN is designed around the WireGuard protocol. And our purpose today is to extract the configuration so that we can write a configuration file and use it in any of the WireGuard applications. So let's go over what are the required steps. First of all, you will need a paid NordVPN subscription. And the purpose of that is to obtain the private key, which will be part of the configuration file. You also need a Linux machine, either a physical one, or we can make a virtual machine. Here in this tutorial, I'll be making an Ubuntu virtual machine. Then we will install the NordVPN app in the Linux, which is Ubuntu. And then we'll install the WireGuard application. Finally, we'll use a script that will generate our WireGuard configuration file. So let's go ahead and start the virtual machine installation process. Make a new virtual machine and then go ahead and adjust the settings as follows. We'll increase the RAM to four gigabytes, increase the number of processors to four, and then we'll increase the video memory to 128. In storage, you want to mount your ISO for Ubuntu. You can see my other tutorials on how to install Ubuntu Linux and distributions. Click OK, and then we'll start the virtual machine. The virtual machine will take a few minutes to boot up. Here we want to click Install Ubuntu. Select your keyboard preference and language. Since we're doing a virtual machine install, I'm going to click Minimal Installation to reduce the size of the virtual machine. Click Continue. I'm going to erase all the disk and install Ubuntu on it. We'll accept. Select your region and time zone. I'm going to put in my username and pick a password. At this point, you can also click login automatically since we're using the social machine only for NordVPN configuration file. This will take a few minutes to install. I'm going to speed up the process. We're almost done with the installation. Now it will ask us to restart. Click restart. Press enter to reject the virtual disk. After my first boot, I realized I had selected the wrong graphics controller. So here I'll change it to the correct one. So let's restart the virtual machine. This time let's get ready to install the prerequisites for NordVPN and WireGuard. I'm going to log in with my password. And once the desktop starts, we'll launch a terminal. But before we do that, let's install the virtual machine guest editions. This will help us with copy and pasting information and dragging files around. So I'm going to mount the virtual machine tools. We'll open up a terminal inside the current directory. And here we want to write sudo followed by the name of the script. I'll enter my password and then we'll let it install. Once the installation finishes, which should take a few seconds, we'll reboot the virtual machine. Now we have rebooted. As you can see, I can easily resize the window. We'll make it easier to work with the terminal and the file manager. Now let's get started with the prerequisite packages. We'll open up a terminal and we'll install them one by one. The QR encode package was not available, so we'll let it be. The only purpose of that was to show us a QR code once the profile was made. Now let's go ahead and install NordVPN. We'll copy this script. I'll paste it into the terminal. As you can see, the command line interface for NordVPN has all these commands that can be used. So we'll copy the first command and launch a terminal. We'll paste it and let it install. I'm going to speed up the process. 
double click it and it shows you the all the options next step is to log in into the nordvpn client launch a new terminal and we can type in nordvpn connect alternatively you can type in the login legacy that way you don't have to open the web browser for authentication now we will type in nordvpn login again so this time it'll actually log in and we want to install WireGuard as a next step. This will take a few seconds for it to install. Now we want to connect and see if NordVPN is working. As you can see, NordVPN is connected successfully. I'm going to disconnect. And the next step is to change the protocol. Next, we'll open up a text editor so we can paste the script written by the user DSVF. We'll copy the script. I will link the script in the description below. I will save the script. I'm going to name it as script to keep things simple. I'll save it. And now, next thing we want to make it executable. So, launch a terminal and then we'll modify its properties. We'll write sudo chmod plus x and the name of the file. Now, this file is executable. Now, let's test out our script. We're going to connect NordVPN. Once it connects, we'll launch the script. To reiterate, it is very important to change the protocol of NordVPN. Now here we can see that we have a private key and a public key. It nicely generated a configuration file for us. Next thing we want to do is we'll launch our wired guard. We'll write it ourselves. We'll copy it from the virtual machine into our host. This is where installation of the virtual machine tools come in handy. So we'll copy everything line by line. The only new addition will be addition of DNS servers. I found that when I did not have the DNS server line added, I had difficulty connecting to the internet. So I'm going to copy all these lines, including the public key and the private key. I'm pixelating this because this is private information. And once we're done copying all these files, we can go ahead and connect to the WireGuard protocol from NordVPN. The only thing that you want to delete is the states word in the public key. We just need the string of letters and not the string states itself. Now that we have our configuration nicely made into WireGuard, let's activate it. Now you can see it's sending and receiving data packets, which means it's working well. Now let's go ahead and do a DNS leak test just to make sure everything's working fine. Once you launch the DNS leak test, here the only thing that we want to check is if our actual IP address is being exposed. As long as you don't see your own IP address, you should be good to go. I can see that none of these IP addresses are mine. So there you have it. We have successfully created configuration files from NordVPN's Nord Linux protocol, and we have imported that into our WireGuard client and it's successfully working. If you like this video, like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.